So Everton on Sunday, let's get started. Guys, Avi McGann on Twitter wants to know what is our best front three or front four? We four? Four. We scored four against West Ham. We scored four. 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 A four, not a four, a four. We scored four against West Ham, Fenerbahce and Feyenoord, but in previous games, including against West Ham, we have struggled to find the back of the net. Do you think it's the personnel or the system? Talk to me. Adam, your best front... Front... Th Why is that difficult to say? Front... <laughs> front three or front four? But Sam, can you say red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry really fast loads of times? I can do this. I can do Peter Piper picked a prick of pickled peppers. And if Peter Piper picked a prick of pickled peppers, where's the pickled peppers? Peter Piper pricked. Picked. You said that too fast, I don't know if it was right or not. Smashed it. Yeah, forget that. Back to the Go football. Anyway, <laughs> in response to Avi McGann's um, question, now, I've got bad memories of him again. One of my first cars. Oh, that was horrible. Guys, ah. football. Sorry. Football. Yeah. Front, four. Um, front four. I would yeah. play pretty much the same front four as yesterday. Yeah. Um, rotating. No, with Matter as the main number 10. Yeah. But there's nothing against Wayne Rooney. I think Wayne Rooney's been playing fantastically well since he got dropped since Winegate with England. Thank you very much to the press and England for, for doing that to him. He's come out like he's got a point to prove, and Wayne Rooney's playing fantastically again. But we still need to manage him. We can't expect him to do that every single game, every single time. We need to drop him in and in, in and out of the team, I think. Um, and I think Jose Mourinho has handled Wayne Rooney expertly well. Having said that, my best front four would be Marshall on the left, Mkhitaryan on the right, Zlatan up top, and Matter in that number 10 position. I think it has it all. Um, and Matter and Mickey T can rotate as well. But I think Mickey T out there on the right, yeah, he, uh, his ability to just turn and on uh, the drop of it, oh, he's just amazing, man. Is it? I love that you spent quite a while talking about Wayne Rooney and then didn't put him in. Uh, Rachel, well, because, what's because, yours? Listen, listen, I know Wayne Rooney's played well this week, yeah. And I love that he's played well, but I, I kind of did that because I know if I say, oh, yeah, Matt, uh, Zla Zlatan, Marshall, Mickey T, everyone's going to be like, ah. Oh, you're not even giving Rooney credit for his good performance. I am giving him credit. I'm buzzing that he's playing well again. But our permanent front four should be that. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Rachel? I think, um, I feel like Ibrahimovic is probably nailed in up top. I mean, that's unless he can't start for whatever reason. I mean, he's in his mid-30s now. He might get tired. He's not looking tired, though. So if he can start, I think he definitely should. I think Martial should definitely start on the left wing. All of our wingers tend to want to cut in and be a number nine themselves, and you can't always do that. And I think Martial does really well on that left wing. We've played Lingard there, and he's done well, but I don't think he compares. The right wing, I mean, Mkhitaryan for me as well. I agree completely with what Adam was saying. But at the same time, like, I can see Mkhitaryan being a number 10. I mean, he likes being involved in it. He's very good at assisting. I mean, didn't he, he had most assists in the Bundesliga last year. So I can see... I My my de definitive answer is Martial, Ibrahimovic, Mkhitaryan. But if we have room, I'd play Rooney in a number 10. Interesting. Rooney ahead of matter. Right, let's talk about the main man himself, uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. We saw a really nasty challenge by Adrian and him as he scored the first goal against West Ham. Do we think that's the kind of thing United players can expect? Do we think the referees saw it and ignored it? Do you think these things even out? Or is there some kind of bias against Manchester United? Oh, oh. I don't want to... There's not an agenda against Manchester United. That's like, I find that really crazy. Like, cool. Tim Foyle hat kind of crazy. Like, <laughs> that's nuts, man. I don't think that's happening. But what you will find with the FA is they are inconsistent. Consistently inconsistent. inconsistent. Regardless of what it is, every time they're consistent, whether it's Rio and his drug ban and the City youth player doing exactly the same thing and not getting the ban at all, whether it's, I don't know, kicking a bottle, Arsene Wenger getting an apology and Jose Mourinho getting a ban, Reed kicks Rooney in his face, nothing happens, not even a penalty. Um, there's a lot of decisions that have gone against us this year and I don't think that's a, a case of everyone's against us. I think maybe when referees come to Old Trafford, they tend to think sometimes like, ah, oh, I don't want to be the one giving them a penalty because yes. that's what they expect me to do here. And maybe they kind of try and think of reasons why it's not a penalty rather than why it is a penalty when they're making decisions. But it's just annoying. We can't even, even against West Ham, when we beat them 4-1, the referee had a shocker. And I needed to come out and say that. I tweeted after the game, like, the referee was crap today because I didn't want to say it after the times when we draw or lose all the time because then you look bitter, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, the referees have consistently been poor, particularly 
at Old Trafford. But I remember the Watford game as well. Mm-hmm. Marshall gets fouled. Watford score one nil. There's been a lot of times where it's gone against us, and I think whether it's balls bouncing off poles when they could be just sneaking in, or whether it's refereeing decisions, I think United haven't had the rubber to green so far this season. The league table, for me, kind of lies um, in a sense that we played better than the league table suggests. So I'm not overly concerned. That will come. That will come. Okay, uh, Rachel, do you wear a tinfoil hat? <laughs> I do. I do. Quite regularly, actually. Swag. No, <laughs> no, I agree. And it's frustrating. It really is because, you know, nobody likes to hear us saying, oh, we've just had really bad luck with the refs. Oh, it's not fair because the refs aren't treating us fair. But as frustrating as it is to hear and as frustrating as it is to say, it's true. There, are, there have been penalties this season that should have been penalties that we didn't get. And, you know, like this weekend, Zlatan, like the foot in the leg... That was horrific. That should have been a red card. It was so bad. But, like, part of me does understand it. The Jose one for me, I think, was ridiculous. I thought it was out of order. He should not have been sent off that. He was looking for a reason to send Jose off. But the other part of me that's logical knows that, you know, you don't always treat people the same for the same offence. You know, if you've got someone who's just got out of jail for robbing a bank and they steal a chocolate bar you're going to send them back to prison but it was just a regular teenager they're going to get away with it and jose has kind of built up this reputation for himself and you have to live with the consequences of that and that is that he gets harsher treatment from reps interesting let us know what you think in the comments below should Mourinho be sent back to jail or should he be allowed that chocolate bar uh right <laughs> Free guys, let's talk about the teams you would pick we've talked about front threes and front front fours still struggling <laughs> let's talk about starting 11s adam what is your team to play everton uh, David De Gea in goal, mm-hmm. obviously. Uh, Valencia sure. right back. What a guy he has been. Remember, remember when I used to get scared of Tony V was playing. I used to think, oh my god, Tony or Valencia is playing today, guys. Adam, um, do you remember when? Do you remember when Jesus resurrected at Easter and everyone was like, "Wow, that's quite a good comeback." And then yeah. Tony V did it, and it was like, <laughs> "That guy's was rubbish." Better comeback oh, than that again. Um, <laughs> Some said it. Yeah, so Valencia at right back, the amazing man. Mm-hmm. Um, but sometimes, yeah, listen, why don't Valencia just be a bit of a bastard? Just please, Tony. Just please, when you see that fullback or when you see that winger, just think to yourself, I'm going to make you my bitch today. Because he's big, he's strong, he's quick, and he can handle guys, but he just don't do it enough. Like, I just want, he's, he's played well. I'm just having a little moan. I want him to hurt somebody, like seriously hurt somebody. Because he can do it, man. And if he does that, he can be the best right back in the world. Just get that nasty streak in him that Jose loves. Come on. If Valencia kicks somebody this weekend and gets a three-match ban... Oh, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying... Blaming this on you. You'll only get a match ban if he kicks a bottle, remember. I'm, only, I'm saying, like, in the sense that when he's going through, just barge someone out of the way. Like, the way Wes, like, Wes Brown wasn't as strong as him. But Wes Brown used to go into some challenges, send the ball, send the man everywhere. So I just want to see Tony do that. But my team, sorry, I got sidetracked. You did a bit. <laughs> it's okay. Rojo and Joel at centre half. Mm-hmm. Mate, who are these guys? <laughs> who are they? Uh, they're playing amazing. So fair play to them. Um, Luke Shaw at left back. I hope he's not injured um, after that game. Uh, he did come off at half time. So I hope to see Luke Shaw back. We're not going to see Carrick again, are we? Are we? But you well, hope at to. some point we will. Maybe not against Everton, but we will see him again. And that's what's annoying. Like, this is the game we need him. I would pick Carrick, Carrick, Carrick Pogba. It's not going to, it's going to be, it's going to be. Yeah, it's what you Pogba. want, Adam. The whole, what we're doing here is not predicting the future. This is what Adam McCullough would do. You are Manchester United manager. Dangerous thought, Don't that, isn't it? it? Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> um, Go on. All right. Herrera, Pogba, so Carrick's not playing for me. Matter <laughs> in the hole, Mickey T, Marshall's Latin. Brilliant. I liked it. Um, Rachel, what about you? I'm going De Gea, Valencia, mm-hmm. Rojo, who I'm at, like, I was bitching about him so much at the start of the season. I'm, so, I'm actually really happy to see him somewhat reformed. And the same for Phil Jones, realistically. Like, I don't want them to be our centre-backs, but I'm happy for them to be, like, sold. Someone else's. Someone else's. Yeah, like goals. <laughs> it's good that that's what we're judging him on. It's good that this is a serious channel with serious ideas. 
Right, Rojo and Jones. And then I'll, I'll give it to Shaw if he's fit. But, I mean, I love Flynn, so I'm always happy to see him. Um, I, I'm playing Carrick because... I love Carrick, and everything should come through him. I'm playing Carrick, Carrera, Pogba in the midfield three, and then I'm playing Martial, Zlatan, Mkhitaryan. But it won't be that. It won't be that because, that's, that's, like, I know Jose likes to rotate, but like, why is it when a player starts doing well, he's like, oh well, they need rotating out now. <laughs> that's how it works, Jose. I don't know why you getting carried away thinking you're wrong the place. Get out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh. he loves it. I loved it. it was quite yeah, nice. but, well, we will see, won't we? Shall we now have a little chat about Everton Football Club? Nah. Mm. All right. I don't um, like Everton, actually. I don't. Okay. Do we? Do, right. What are we concerned about? Cleverly? No. Oh, cleverly. Come on, Spanish Tom might do something. I hope Tony Bellew gets his head taken off by David Hay. He's an Everton fan. So that's the first thing. Second thing, the playing. Taken. Wow. Ronald Coleman is a taken. very good manager, mm-hmm. and I think they've been going through a difficult point at this time. And I've got a seriously bad feeling they're gonna hammer us like they have done the last few years. Apart from last season where we won three 0 and Wayne Rooney scored there, they're but, unbeaten in their last nine at Goodison Park. Oh, all right, yeah, United, United are gonna win this because oh, good. Those, those runs are made to come to an end. Right, um, Ronald Coleman, yeah, he's got them playing some very good football. Pacey, mm-hmm. quick. They got Belassi, they got Barkley, they got Lukaku, they got a very good team, Dulafeu as well. I think that's how you say it. Um, I, I like Ronald Coleman and I, I like the players that Everton have, um, and I think they're a good side. But United, yeah, if we play like we have been doing, we will beat them. Rachel, that's simple. That's, that's how that's how good our players are at the moment. If we if they play to how good they can play, we're gonna beat some. We're gonna slap someone down. Makes it happen. Yeah, I mean, Everton had kind of like a similar, a, a, like a parallel se- season to ours where it started off well and like they've they've not won in the last nine now. So uh, they've won one in the last line, nine. Yeah. Let's not undercut them. They did beat West Ham, who we can beat in the league. So that's great. Um, no, I do. I think they're a good club. Like it's just it's just kind of all going wrong for them. There was a switch to a back three in there that didn't really work. That, didn't really make sense. The back at a back four now with Ashley Williams, but like it's just a bit. They just like it just seems to all fall apart. Is it what Everton think... do every year though? It's always like, oh, Everton will probably do all right this year. They're looking okay, and they just aren't ever that great. Yeah, I mean, they're a good attacking force though. Lukaku scored quite a lot of goals this season. Him and Balassi seem to link up very well. I mean, they speak a very they speak a special hidden language called Lingala. Heard that on the radio. Checked it. Nice. It's true. So, I mean, that's good. They can, you know, communicate beyond us. But no, I think I think we'll win. I feel, But I feel like we're very much the favourites and that always worries me a little bit because it's quite a high pedestal to fall off. Okay. They speak Lingard. Post. Lingala. They're from the Democ... Right. You did describe it as a secret <laughs> language, but I think if we're talking about it, it's not a secret. It's like... The secret's out. It's not secret. It's just a special. Like, not many speak. No. Like I think they're the only two in the Premier League that speak it. They are. It's either from the Democratic Republic of Congo, or the Central African Republic, and I can't remember which one it is. Sure. One of those ones. Well, I mean, it's nice for them that they, they've got something to do. So let's have a go at guessing the result, guys. What do you think the score's going to be? Adam, go. No pressure. Uh, I'm hoping it's the first time we see. A, a, you know, them typical 2 0 Jose wins. Oh, yeah. I, I, I hope it's the first time we see that. 2 0 United. Okay, Rachel? I was going to say 2 0, but I'm going to stick with my, my two goal difference and go 3 1. Let's be positive. Obviously, Everton. the prediction doesn't represent actuality or truth in any sense, it's just a guess at the score. I actually think that's what probably you, that's be our prediction. something that, like yeah, well, prediction <laughs> represent truth. Well, that's what I'm when saying. So, no, what? So yet. what? So I actually think the score will probably be something like one all, but I'm going to predict eight nil. Ah, oh, yeah, that's mint. Um, I predict Jose Mourinho oh, gets sent oh, off right. again. That seems likely. That seems likely. Yeah, all right, guys, yeah. get in the comments below. Let us know what you thought about all of that. Enjoy the game. Let us know your score predictions, your teams, your front threes, your front, your front fours, and whether or not you can <laughs> say it properly. That'd be nice to know. Maybe I'm not alone in that. Peace out.